Hey folks, Jonathan here. Okay, have not started on the shingles yet, of course, because I've uh, been doing other things. But uh, kind of got something I'm excited about and uh, just wanted to tell you about it. And hopefully in this video, you'll be able to see what I'm going to get and what our plans are. Okay, so this engine here, as you can see, I done it the way I wanted to do it. Uh, we're not finished yet. We've got to do the shingles. We've got to do rocks around the, the lower section. I'm going to do uh, veneer. And uh, got some more veneer we've got to do on the back side of the wall. And then we've got to get everything cleaned up and get some gravel in here and get it looking right. And we're slowly working on the engine, getting the valve gear right. And uh, so, here's the deal. When I done this, I wanted to do it as a old school sort of a country feel you know uh more of maybe let's say a sawmill engine than an industrial which even though this is an industrial engine uh it actually ran my understanding originally was a sawmill and a planter mill so this engine you know this is sort of the feel for it and uh or the theme or whatever you want to call it so for a harrisburg engine I wanted to do that completely different. Uh, it's going to be an industrial theme. And I looked for some riveted uh, beams that were strapped and riveted, and they sort of strapped in an X. And I knew where there was some at that had been sitting for a long time. I finally got a hold of the guy. He does not want to sell. And his contractor does some work and he built a house using some of them and it was really just beautiful old beams. But luckily, after doing some searching and asking around and I, with the a, a help of a really, really good friend, uh, Kyle, he was able to put me on some uh, beams that came from uh, the Carthage Water Tower. Now, the Carthage Water Tower, that was a water tower that was built, I think, about 1905 or It was going to cost too much money to restore it and the city or town decided that they didn't want to spend the money so the department of agriculture paid to have it taken down and the company that took it down was scrapping it and something happened to one of the trailers and they wasn't able to take one of the loads in and it got unloaded and i, I i'm really i feel really lucky to be able to I think have the opportunity to get that and I'll know more well I'm, t I'm being told yes I just don't know when hopefully when I call them tonight they'll tell me it's okay to for tomorrow and I'm gonna buy this by weight and luckily I bought them hanging scales for my crane so we're gonna go pick the pieces up and weigh them and I'm gonna buy it by scrap now the plan is the industrial theme for the Harrisburg engine I want to build the entire thing sort of like this one two long beams you know uh, I'm going to use four uprights instead of uh, six on it because I don't have enough and uh, with it being steel it'll handle the the 20 foot or, or more span anyway uh, where this wood needed it uh, anyway so that's the plan I want to do the same thing basically as what we've done here but on the Harrisburg engine but we're going to do it in an industrial theme using them riveted beams and that came from the Carthage water tower and uh, we can also uh, you know put some other things that's industrial along with it so they had a they had a pretty tough time over this water tower and a lot of people didn't want it to go and uh, and it was totally understandable Carthage was a really big time southern uh, wagon builder the town you know had a, a I think more than one wagon company there but they built a lot of wagons and you know the the water tower had a picture of the wagon of course i've probably already shown it in the picture here but uh 
you can see the beams on it and these beams are what we're going to get now they was cut into shorter sections probably 14 16 foot so we're going to have to put some back together to get our our long uprights like this and then our up you know or our not our long uprights but our long beams and then our uprights is already you know will be the right length we'll figure out what we need uh the harrisburg engine don't stand up quite as tall as tall as this engine so i think it'll be be okay maybe to make it a little shorter you know wouldn't hurt so anyway and the plans are with the harrisburg is here's the boiler the other side of that boiler long ways uh right up my driveway you know but off the side that's where it's going to be and uh like i said I, just a, a total industrial theme just like this is more of a country you know uh, post and beam and rock you know and uh that's the uh, that's my plan. That's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. Okay, folks, so we're loaded with half of the beams. I'm going to make it into two loads. I separated them up. I didn't want to try to haul too much weight-wise because they're not that light. Uh, most of them's over 700 pounds a piece. And uh, anyway, so this used to be Carthage Water Tower. And like I said, now it's going to be the cover over the Harrisburg engine. And there is the other pieces right there. So we'll get her loaded up. And That'll be our second load. Two pieces of beam over there, a ladder, and then the, the other four main beams. All right. 
right, but... We got our beam floated up. There's a few pieces that he has. D8 and D7 caterpillars. You name it. Caterpillar pan, forklift, loaders, rubber tire loaders. That's a W35 Holmes. It's an early Holmes on a, on a track. Some kind of a track machine. Skitters. Here's the dual engine. Uh, oh, Euclid is a 2671 D12. Player. We use them for train recoveries. Alice Chalmers. Folks, we are back with the beams. So this worked out really, really good. Kind of a weird situation because my goal was to come up with uh, enough beams to build my building. You know, four uprights, two long beams. Well, that would have been six beams. Well, I got eight beams here, and if I weld two of them together, it's going to be six beams and two of them long, four of them for uprights. So somehow i don't know how it worked out but we just got you know come out perfect and i think the shortest beam here is 10 foot so it's going to work out just right now these beams here i've got enough to do four of these and these will be the cross braces and then four legs and then two long beams and uh 
we're going to get them all straightened out and put together. There's two long ones here, there's one shorter one here, and there's one really long one there. So we may have to splice one together. Oh, wait a minute, there's another one. Okay, we got another long, shorter one. So if we got to splice one together, we can splice one together. It's not a problem. And uh, we're not really looking to build a building. We're looking to build a cover over our Harrisburg engine. Uh, it's kind of weird because, you know, Carthage was known for the uh, wagons and uh, carriages. And, you know, here we're, we've got a, an engine that came from the, it was a SPAC wagon company. Now they bought it to, uh, and put it in around 1924 to do furniture. But it was still known as the SPAC Wagon Company up until 1928 when they quit making wagons. So, anyway, I'm really, really uh, happy to get these beams. I wanted them, you know, I've been looking for some. Now, the other ones I looked at before had uh, more straps. They had straps in between these straps also. Much heavier beams, uh, probably way stronger, more of a bridge beam, and where this is a tower beam. So, but that's okay. And we've got the uh, ladder. There's one ladder laying in between, bent up, and I think there's one more ladder connected to one of these upright beams. I think it's right there, actually. So we will try to straighten the ladder out and put the ladder, you know, at least 10 foot of the ladder up to be able to climb up. Uh, onto the top and just to, to keep the industrial look you know that's what we're going for so uh, I, I'm really I'm just tickled uh, didn't think I was going to be able to get them and you know got them now there's uh, about 7,700 pounds of beams right here and I was able to buy them for scrap price because they were scrap that's, that was the intentions when they took the water tower down uh, something happened and this particular trailer didn't get taken to the the scrap yard and it got unloaded and I think it was just waiting on me and this is all that's left there's no other beams left of the water tower we will soon get at it making you know the foundation for the Harrisburg we got more work to do on the the baits first we're gonna get the uh, shingles done on it we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, to get our trip done up to Ohio, uh, working on the trailer to get that taken care of, and then uh, we will get started on the, the Harrisburg pretty soon. Keep collecting these parts up that I need. Now I need to find some corrugated uh, tin, you know, in good shape, but not, I don't want any new tin, I want older stuff, so, and uh, maybe a old style steel frame window from a, you know, a factory style window. And, uh, you know, a few other odds and ends. I found a fan that I really like that uh, it's actually a riveted blade fan. I've never seen one before, but it's really old. I'm going to see if we can acquire it. And uh, just, like I said, try to keep to the industrial theme of uh, not necessarily the 1920s when it was built, but, you know, anywhere in the early 1900s is fine with me. So I think these are from 1905. So anyway... I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm going to bed tickled to death tonight, knowing that I was able to secure these, and I know that they're not getting scrapped. So, all right, appreciate everybody watching. Until next time, bye.